You had the bacon last night, man. Uh, bro, y'all lying to me. All they got is these mid melts. Wait, there's a deal lovers menu. What's going on? Oh. oh, chat. We got it. We're going to Pizza Hut tomorrow. I got it. We got bacon, cheddar, roasted garlic, chocolate, donut bites. Chat, y'all. See, that's why y'all put me on, bro. I fooled y'all, bro. Y'all be putting me on. I'm pumped now. I'm putting this in the video tomorrow. I got to blur the curses out, though. What's going on, guys? King Shrats here back in the video on the channel. And today, as you saw in my stream last night, I had absolutely no clue that these existed. So thank you to the people in the stream and everybody that tags me in different things. You find out stuff before I do. So pizza has three new kinds of cheese sticks, as well as these chocolate donut bites so that is what we got today i always try to review things as quick as possible so the very next day here i am we're gonna try all three of these out i also got a free pizza because i had like 300 pizza hut reward points so i have a, a medium pizza here as well but here are the three different kinds of cheese sticks i'm not gonna hold you guys drop a thumbs up i really do appreciate it it does help in the videos some people if i don't remind you you don't do it it sounds kind of cringe because it is but it does in fact help <laughs> i guess i should show you guys the pizza first as well right um, I had a bunch of points. You get a free medium two topping pizza. So I went with a pizza that would piss everybody off, but I still like because when I get franchise pizza, it's the only time I get pineapple on pizza. So there it is. Let me just show this to you real quick. It is a pepperoni pan pizza. This was free and it doesn't look very well cooked. I will be honest. Today is one of those days that is one of the largest pizza ordering days in the year because Halloween, a lot of parents trick or treat. Doesn't really matter. The pizza place was swamped so i felt bad for the employers they were trying to get things out probably as quick as possible i'm not even going to be mad about that one the pizza was free and two it ain't really that deep anyway let's start with the cheese sticks i believe this is the original i can't really tell uh i mean these aren't really cut Damn, oh my goodness yeah this is gonna be bad i can tell hold on all right so here we go yep so this is the og it looks like it just has cheese and there is some of that Topping that they put on the breadsticks on there as well. All of these come with a dipping sauce. So let's get the first bite. Not bad. I'm gonna be honest with you though. This just looks like they copied Little Caesar's homework. I love the Little Caesar's cheesy bread and that's what it reminds me of. They are crisp right on the outside. Um, it's a little undercooked for my taste, but I didn't specify well done or not. Let's dip it into the Pizza Hut marinara sauce. I believe each of the things that are new, they have a new $7 rewards menu. It used to be $6.99. I don't know why they're trying to make it sound good, but they upped it by a penny. Sometimes I do feel like these companies are insulting my intelligence. It just reminds me of the, the Little Caesars version. Now, the only difference is the seasoning is slightly different, and the sauce is slightly different. Now, here's the thing. Since I do have a direct comparison, it does give me a little more of an indicator on what to expect. I do like the crispiness of it, the doneness. On the outside, it's still pretty light on the inside. I like Pizza Hut's breadstick seasoning, which is kind of what makes this good. And their sauce, to me, is better than Little Caesar's sauce. But there's something missing that isn't on theirs. And you can see how gooey the cheese one is in the middle. I'm going to bite this part. The whole thing needs to be like that. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. I wish the rest of this looked like that. But that one part right there was crazy. What it comes down to is if your preference is Pizza Hut over the other chains in your area, in my opinion, th this is good. It's not something I would go out of my way to get, but it is a nice option to have. I think the ones with the toppings would be slightly better. I also think it would be nice if they did one that had proteins on it, like pepperoni or something, because I think that would go crazy. But I do think it's good. Would I eat this again? Yeah. Value-wise, $7.00. Not going to be overly expensive. It's a good value. But again, you can remember, you can get a medium one-topping pizza for $7 as well. It is on their new $7 menu. But this one is good. I would get it again. Fast food pizza chain scale, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I like it. Now, this one is the roasted garlic, which I feel like is going to be more up my alley. I'm a big garlic fan. I can smell the garlic on here. It's some sort of garlic butter. It's probably their garlic butter, to be honest. But it all depends on whether it works or not with this. This one also seems like it has a little bit more cheese. 
which I like as well. But this one's kind of making me drool. Okay, so there it is. Looks decent. You better like garlic if you get this one. I happen to really like garlic. This is much better. Oh, I get this one. This one's cooked a little better. There seems to be more cheese on it. And there is a ton of garlic on this one as well. If you have a date and you get pizza hut, oh wait, you can't do that these days. It's like the Cheesecake Factory, right? I'm still going. Make sure they both eat it because you're going to be really mad when somebody else breasts smell like hot garlic. Well, I will get this one. It bangs. Just remember I said this. If you do not like garlic, this, they should have called this garlic lover because the garlic flavor is roasted. I'm sorry. Oh, man. We're not editing that. That's drool. But since the garlic is roasted, the flavor is more intense. But I'm, yeah. Keep that on the menu. That's the one you keep on the menu right here. Pizza chain scale. I might like this one better than one of Little Caesars. That's crazy. But that one's my favorite. But I'll give that a 9.2 out of 10 on a pizza chain scale. I might just be eating this one. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the one. Whatever that is, put that on a pizza. Just a thought. Next up, we have the bacon and cheese. Again, there's little pieces of bacon, bacon bits on here. And the cheese just, this one doesn't have that same depth in it that I just look for. But I can see all the little pieces of bacon on the top on this one. Also greasy. Man, this bacon is supposed to be greasy. I'm not even going to, they didn't really cut mine too well. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. So here we go. These two are crazy. Don't even bother with that plain one. This right here. Yeah, I rock with it. Again, because there's a ton of bacon on here, it is pretty salty. So I don't know if I'll be able to eat as much as the roasted garlic, but I, it has an intense bacon flavor. It's not, it's not like skimping on a bacon. The cheese on this one, again, much more. And the cook on it is better. That's just totally redeemable. I thought it was going to be super mid after having this one. I've rocked with both of these. It's the same thing and the issue that I have with the melts. I would like to see a little bit more of like ability to put other stuff on this. I just think it would bring it up even more. I would also like to have a pepperoni and roasted garlic. My brain just went there. In fact, we need to do that somehow. I'm going to figure it out till the end of this video, but... Both of these are a little greasy, but I'm okay with that. It's expected. The cook is on point. If you can, I would ask for it well done. Would be the only thing that I would say to do differently than mine. But these are good, man. I'm not going to lie. They're good. I like the roasted garlic a little bit more. But this one, pizza chain scale. 8.5 out of 10. Wow. Last on the dessert vibe, we have donut whole bites. I saw, it looks like there's a chocolate something in here, but I can't tell. There's also like a sugar on the outside, but this is what it looks like. Let's give this a shot. In my opinion, these are almost elite. The crust on the outside has a nice bite to it and a little bit of that sugar, but I need to try one more for research purposes. This on the inside, it does give you a cake-like texture of a donut, but that fudgy inside just leaves me wanting more. My expectations were something maybe a little gooier, closer to like a Domino's lava cake. And that's my only real comparison for this, but I feel like if that inside filling was a little bit better, because it comes across as a little dry, 
I would absolutely love these. I still like them, but it's a little bit of a letdown. And I probably still would stick to the little mini Cinnabons that are at Pizza Hut if I'm getting dessert. But I'm not mad I got these. I'm not mad at them. I just feel like they, they missed it a little bit with that inside part. Like, you see how this don't really, like, just a little bit more, and it would be, oof. But they're okay. I'll give them a 6 out of 10, of course, on a pizza chain scale. Overall, I do like these cheese sticks. I feel like it's a nice addition, and it does remind me, it kind of seems like they did rip off Little Caesars just a little bit, being real. But at the price point, Little Caesars at, is usually cheap when it comes to this. It's about $6 at Little Caesars, depending. I think it goes up to 8 if you get certain toppings. These are all $7 a piece, so price-wise, it is competitive. I just... It's better than what the melts were. The melts were a disappointment. I can rock with those. Also did get this medium because it was free. Like I said, I had the points, um, but it's, it's really undercooked. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this. I got pepperoni and pineapple. No, nah, I can still eat it. It's not criminally undercooked. It's just slightly undercooked for what I like. But fun fact, I didn't know this until last night again. Apparently, Halloween is one of the largest pizza days in the, in the United States. There's a lot of people that order pizza, and it makes perfect sense. I never just stopped to think about it. I don't have kids, um, so I haven't thought about what parents would be doing on Halloween. You get kids after school. A lot of them are taking their kids trick-or-treating today. So you've been walking around. You don't really want to cook. You're tired. So the easiest thing to do would get something quick, and pizza would be the first option. Papa John's does sell a jack-o'-lantern pizza, which I was going to get until this came out. But it does make sense. So when I'm in the store, they had one employee there in Pizza Hut. And when I walked in, there were probably about six or seven people sitting waiting for their pizza. And I give them all props because the, 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 the young lady that was working the register did seem a bit overwhelmed. It was kind of just... You know, you feel bad in those situations, but everybody was super patient, which is cool. You know, nobody gave her a hard time. Like, she was trying her best. There should have been more people there. About seven more people walked in while I was waiting for my stuff. And finally, the guy who was had the, all the pizzas in the oven came around to fill out some orders because she was taking orders at the same time. Some of these companies, man, you got to have at least one more person standing there. Especially on a day like that, but... Either way, I just thought it was a cool fact. And I'm listening to a bunch of people talk. You know, you'd be eavesdropping. So there was an older woman. And about two older women walked in. And they all knew each other. I guess they were all from town. And they said exactly what I just said. She's like, you know, I just took the kids out. I came over, everybody's ringing the doorbell. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm getting a pizza. She's exactly what she said. I was like, that makes sense. So, fun fact. If you did go trick-or-treating today, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I didn't. I went to work. My dog probably had a field day. You know, because they're they ringing the doorbells. But I hope my... my he, he seems okay. But there are still people ringing my doorbell as we speak. Which is why I had to keep stopping the video. But I'm not mad at that. But I do have some candy to get rid of. So... I don't want to eat it. So I hope some more people come and I'm going to uh, wait in the living room just in case they do. But trick-or-treating always was a fun thing, even for me as a kid, you know, getting all the candy and stuff. It's one of those few days. I know everybody now, there's safety issues that weren't like it was back in 1940 when I was a kid. <laughs> um, but it's still cool that kids get to do all that stuff. And I, I, it's one of the few days that I'm becoming a grumpy old man, but I don't get angry at kids being like stupid on Halloween, even on, I don't know if you have this around other parts of the country, uh, but we have, we called it goosey night. I've heard devil's night. I've heard mischief night where people be throwing like eggs and stuff. I know you, it's like you stupid, but whatever, man, I did it. I can't get mad. It's almost like me seeing in the summertime when I see kids on bikes and they're like, I'm like, mm. a lot of people like you stupid kids. I was that. So I don't really get mad. I had a couple of kids earlier. I heard them running around because school just ended. And they're just running, ringing doorbells. I want candy! I couldn't help but laugh. You know what I'm saying? 
you sometimes you gotta let kids be kids, man. I know it's tough sometimes you get old and you be like, ah, oh, these kids, but sometimes you gotta let kids be kids. And that's one of the few times where I don't even get remotely annoyed. There was one time in the movie theater I did get annoyed though. There was a group of kids that was watching the movie and they just wouldn't shut up. They was cracking jokes and throwing stuff, and then I thought about it and said I used to do this stuff too. So I don't even get mad. But that's gonna be the end of the video, man. I'm gonna go make some friends. I have some people that I know want to try this. Um, you see this video, you already had it. It was good, wasn't it? Don't even lie. So we'll be back <laughs> tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.